This is Manhattan Nocturne, take one. One, two, a one, two. We're here at Studio West to record all of the jazz ensembles and uh, some alumni ensembles on a CD project entitled Jazz Techs. One bar and then instead of, he, yeah, so he's gonna come in two beats sooner than, than the ink. The students are here to get some professional studio time in a professional quality studio and for the recording students this also gives them a chance to work behind the board um, in a professional studio in a real environment. One of the factors that made me personally want to do it is just as a performer I've never recorded in a jazz big band setting in the studio so for me this was a great chance to experience a jazz environment within the studio that I had never been exposed to. And then as a grant writer and just as a grad student, I definitely wanted to do, um, to be a part of something to where I could give back to a school that's given me so much. What do you, what do you want to do? Uh, if you like that, I like that take on your solo. Uh, we should redo that ending if we want to keep this take. <laughs> yeah, and I might want to punch the bridges and maybe the top of the tune when the head comes back. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get it. So we're going to take two. Yes, take two. Just uh, the experience of uh, playing in, a, in an environment uh, where, where you're really striving for perfection. That kind of uh, pressure doesn't, it's, it's different in a studio than it is uh, in a live performance setting. It's, it's higher, it's a, it's a heightened amount of uh, pressure to perform and uh, getting that experience is really invaluable for them and uh, I'm sure they'll take that into their careers. So one of the things was that, uh, as you may know, uh, they wrote a student success grant and that was awarded. And part of uh, the whole collaboration in, in the light of being collegial was to combine not only the music department students, but we also wanted to include my guys, which are the uh, recording art students. Well, like, what would you say um, are some like pretty common problems when it comes to sitting down and like mixing big band that you encounter? Well, sitting down mixing anything is perspective, uh -huh. right? So once you get everything kind of cleaned up and everything's lined up and you got all the technology, the rhythmic stuff is straight, and then you got to look, and then as you as you mix the thing, it's like where's the melody, where's in relationship to comedy, who's important, who's not, who's less important, when it all hits, how does the package feel? And uh, the better you get at mixing, the more homogeneous, the more natural it sounds like. Well, of course that's the way it sounds. And yet when you hear a big band live, you don't hear one fifth of what we have to bring out in a record, right? Because mm -hmm. it's just too powerful. Mm -hmm. You hear it, you feel it, you sense it, but in you know we're we're in, we're in the perfect prism, so we have total control of sound. So and that's where your you know writers like Carl who write all these really intricate interlines and all this stuff, they want to hear that. It's like well, where's my little counter melody here? And I want that third trombone, that resolution right there. I want that to come out, and I want this to you know. And so it's our job to do that within the context of the big picture. So good mixtures are worth their weight in gold, you know. Okay, so you have to you have to back it up a little bit until the, that transient, so that it's smooth. Um, see that, that, see that first hit? No, no. Uh, go the other way. Yeah, yeah. You can back that one up. This one. 
Yeah. Overall, this project was incredibly, uh, no a lot of knowledge, a lot of, a lot of wisdom, a lot of uh, getting to see professionals do their craft and their art. And I think to me that's, you know, you can't pay for that. That's, that's invalu invaluable and you can't put a number on that. So uh, they get to learn how it is to, to deal with musicians um, on a professional level. And they also got to work with uh, some really great engineers uh, in the last couple of days. Um, Jim Linehan and Cedric uh, were really um, high-end, you know, professional uh, engineers that are, are working in the real world out there. And it was really a, a, a great experience for me as, as their professor in regards to what they're learning. To see them apply it was really great. Last semester, uh, Charles McPherson was a guest artist at San Diego State University. He's a wonderful alto saxophonist who happens to live in the San Diego area. So to get to uh, perform with Charles in a studio environment like this, on a project like this, it's really a uh, really valuable experience for the students. It's really inspiring. This experience is um, part of a legacy that we're all leaving behind. Being empowered by the Student Success Fee with such a big project like this, everyone who's involved is leaving their mark on San Diego State.